Kim. Good evening and welcome to Home for the Holidays, part of the Live from the Conservatory concert series. I'm Bill Gottschall, manager of the concert series and an instructor here at the conservatory. It goes without saying that 2020 has been a very difficult year, full of challenges and tragedies. While performing an hour's worth of winter holiday tunes won't make everything all better, it can help lift our spirits and perhaps offer us some hope while we wait for a time when we can all be back together again. We begin first with the Conservatory's Intermediate Jazz Ensemble. We'll be performing Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad is Spanish for Happy Christmas. The tune was written in 1970 by guitarist Fel Jose Feliciano, a native of Puerto Rico. His song is currently number eight in the list of most downloaded holiday songs. Our version features our two student musicians, Evan and Carl, taking improvisational solos. Improv is one of the things that is special about jazz. The musician will make up his own solo right on the spot, sometimes taking ideas from the main melody of the song or finding an interesting rhythm pattern in the song to inspire a whole new melody. And now, Feliz Navidad. All I Want for Christmas is our next number. It was written by singer Mariah Carey and her producer Walter Afanasieff in 1994. It was the best-selling modern-day holiday single and is the 11th best single of all time, and that includes all types of songs, not just holiday tunes. By 2017, it had earned $60 million in royalties, making Christmas a very merry season for Mariah Carey. The song is an interesting balance of rock and jazz. The drums and bass play a standard rock pattern but the piano plays jazz harmony. The melody played by the Saxonar version blends the two styles together. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
start with our conservatory advanced jazz ensemble. That was the intermediate jazz ensemble. We're going to bring in the players from the advanced ensemble, but we have one person who's doing double duty here. I want to say a very special thank you to Evan Blake, our sax player you heard there on the last two tunes. Andrew Janzak, our baritone sax player, took sick yesterday and wasn't able to come tonight. So Evan learned all the songs for this group in 24 hours and is stepping in. So a very big thank you to Evan. The first one we'll do is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It was written for a popular radio show hosted by singer Eddie Cantor back in 1934. Within 24 hours of that first broadcast, the song had sold 30,000 records and 500,000 copies of the sheet music. The version we'll be playing is based on Bruce Springsteen's popular rendition. It was recorded live in concert at C.W. Post College in Brookville, New York, back in 1975, back in my day. Springsteen's recording of the song wasn't released until 1982, however, as part of a Sesame Street Christmas record, believe it or not. His popularity has steadily grown over the years. Springsteen and his E Street band have featured it during November and December in all their tours for many years now. And now, Santa Claus is coming to town. And of course, I get to play Bruce Springsteen. So in this version, Bruce Springsteen talks and talks and talks. I want to see how long Camber can play this vamp over and over again without getting crap in his hand. I think I'll release him now, and I'll look over at Bryce and say, take it away. Thank you. 
Our next song is really three songs in one. Linus and Lucy, Christmas Time is Here, and Oh Christmas Tree, all of which were featured in the TV special Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. The first two songs were written by San Francisco jazz piano player Vince Garaldi. He incorporated the traditional German Christmas carol, Oh Christmas Tree, as part of his musical score for the TV special arranged in a jazz style. Using jazz for, as a music for a cartoon TV show was a big change for what was usually done. CBS TV executives were very uneasy about producer Lee Mendelssohn's choice of Vince Guaraldi as the composer for the music soundtrack, as Guaraldi wasn't a member of the small fraternity of composers and arrangers who created music for Hollywood films and TV shows. But Mendelssohn's choice was an inspired one. Vince Guaraldi's music has been loved by TV viewers since his first broadcast back in 1965. It helped popularize a new brand of music called West Coast Jazz. In a very strange coincidence, WHYY TV is broadcasting a Charlie Brown Christmas tonight at 7.30, in less than 30 minutes. But we hope you stay with us here instead. You can always live stream it later. And now, a medley from a Charlie Brown Christmas.
We'll be combining both of our ensembles right now. We're going to be playing some folk melodies, and we'll start out with one from Ukraine. This one's Carol of the Bells, sometimes called Ukrainian Bell Carol. It was composed by Mykola Leontovich in 1914. It was commissioned by the conductor of the Ukrainian Republic Choir, who asked Latanovich to write a choral piece based upon Ukrainian folk chants. The one the composer selected was not a Christmas story at all, but one about the coming of spring. The song became associated with Christmas when an American, Peter Walowski, wrote new lyrics to the tune. Walowski said he wrote lyrics about Christmas because the melody of the song reminded him of bells, and that made him think of Christmas. Carol of the Bells. I'd like to introduce the members of our two ensembles. If they would come out of their places and stand in front of their instruments, I'd like to introduce them all. First, on keyboard, Camera Beecham. <laughs> While we're waiting for our sax players to get out of their wind tents, I'll introduce our drum instructor, Tucker Marshall. I want to take a moment to give a special thank you to Tucker. Tucker has gone way above and beyond the call of duty, helping to get us ready for the show, rehearsing the students with me. Uh, he's helped set up all the equipment for this live stream, and he even went so far as to choose the equipment we would buy for this. So thank you very much, Tucker. Bryce Hudson, alto saxophone. Evan Blake, alto saxophone. And do we still have Carl Stoltz here? I think Carl went out in the hallway, but I want to thank Carl Stoltz for playing keyboard in the Intermediate Ensemble. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this over now to our Executive Director, Rachel Gallagher, who will make some remarks for us. lessons with a hybrid schedule for private lessons and music therapy sessions, launched a storybook telling series for young children, continued to offer free academic support and arts programs for our kindred arts kids, and began live from the conservatory concert series to virtually give you the gift of music. 
The conservatory is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that depends on contributions to continue to provide all of our programming. This holiday season, please consider making a tax deductible gift to the conservatory. Your donation makes a direct impact on the lives of our students and on our charitable programs and allows us to keep spreading the gift of music throughout the community. We posted a link in our comments for our donation page and you can also find it on our website at www.myconservatory.org. As we head into another year full of uncertainty, we look forward to one thing, continuing to enrich people's lives by providing high quality music, and edu music performance and therapy for our community. We wish you and your loved ones a, help, a happy, healthy, wonderful holiday season. Thank you for being with us here tonight. Please enjoy the rest of Home for the Holidays. Our next folk tune comes from France. You heard one from the Ukraine just a few moments ago with Carol the Bells. Now we're going to be playing Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence. This is a medieval era song. The tune is entitled Picardy after the region in northern France where it was originated. The modern harmonization was written by one of my personal heroes, Rafe Vaughn Williams, an English composer who spent most of, the, most of his life traveling in the European countryside, learning and transcribing ancient folk songs, rescuing dozens of ancient melodies which would have been lost to the ages without him. Virya Maitre, Camber Beecham, and I will be playing an arrangement which I wrote, which I originally created for brass quartet but it lends itself really well to a string trio. Thank you, Vera. Fellow conservatory faculty member Alyssa Almeida joins us to explore another folk tune, this time from Ireland, the hauntingly beautiful Wexford Carol. 
named for the county of its origin. William Grattan Flood transcribed the old folk song melody from a local singer in Enniscorthy, whence Flood served as the music director of St. Aidan's Cathedral. The harmonization we'll be using was written by my longtime friend, Art Clyde. He used mo modern chords to make the Wexford carol sound contemporary while still maintaining the feeling of a timeless Irish folk tune. Thank you, Cameron. This is going to stay with us now as we explore some more contemporary songs. The first one we're going to play is that famous song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, which is actually just called the Christmas song. Now, believe it or not, this was written during a heat wave in July. Jazz singer Mel Torme and his friend Robert Wells were trying to think of ways to stay cool back in the days before air conditioning in a hot Los Angeles studio. And so they started to write down some ideas of things that would make them feel like it was winter time. And before they knew it, in 40 minutes, they had a song, which has become a classic of all time. The first recording was done by Nat King Cole and his trio, and it's still my favorite. But Alyssa's gonna play it for us now with backing from me and Tucker. And I think I might just like this version even better than Nat King Cole's. Thank you. 
is going to stay here and do one more more contemporary tune now we've already done this one once kind of but in honor of WHYY doing this right now at this very moment on channel 12 we're going to do a full version of Christmas time is here from a Charlie Brown Christmas watching that a little boy back when it was played the very first time and falling in love with the music right at that moment. Vince Guaraldi was a wonderful piano player and a great songwriter. We're going to introduce a sister brother team now. Shana and Jaden Skolnick, Skolnikoff, I'm sorry, will perform a song with a local connection, My Favorite Things from the Sound of Music. The words to this beloved song were written by Doylestown native Oscar Hammerstein, Jr. 
Soon after its initial Broadway run, the song became a centerpiece of the movie version of Sound of Music. The song crossed over into jazz when the famous tenor saxophone player and Philadelphia native John Coltrane recorded it. Though Christmas is never specifically mentioned in the lyrics, my favorite thing is considered to be a holiday season classic. Shana and Jaden. I can not butcher your name this time. She's coming to call. <laughs> not exactly on, but I hope it got closer. Thank you very much. And we're going to bring back on Alyssa Al Almeida, Tucker Marshall, and Camber Beecham, and we're going to close the night out with three holiday favorites. This is the third or fourth straight year we've done a concert with the jazz ensembles at Christmas time, and we usually have a sing along at the end. Because of the pandemic, we can't do this right now. But we hope if you're at home and know the tunes, I'm sure you will, you'll sing along. First, we're going to do a tune made famous by Elvis Presley, Blue Christmas. two songs that were made famous by the same singer, Gene Autry, the singing cowboy. First we'll do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and then Frosty the Snowman. Thank you. 
And finally, the one everybody loves to sing along with, Frosty the Snowman. Thank you all very much for joining us. Appreciate you coming out and seeing us. We want you to all have a wonderful holiday season and hope that music has brought a little bit of hope and joy into your lives. Thank you very much and good night.